Nothing will bring grandmother Minda Limbo back, but what will ease some of her family's pain is knowing what happened on the road outside her house just before she died. Someone out there has the answer. Minda Limbo never missed church. She was as faithful as they come. They still have an empty seat in the choir for her. We miss her and that we hope that out there someone comes forward and just helps us fill that gap in life. We just got to go through this motion. Wesley yes, Carney and his wife Gretchen struggle to know how to feel because they don't know what happened to her mother. My mum always works so hard for us. Even since then, <laughs> it's very tough for us. It just feels like a, a bad dream that you just want to wake up from. It was just a week before Christmas. She had her Christmas presents with her in her shopping cart. She was uh, coming to, like coming back from the shop with some gifts. This was the 57-year-old grandmother getting off the bus at Fairfield in Sydney's southwest. It would be her last shopping trip. Minda would be found dead the next day. At what point did you learn that there'd been any sort of crash or accident? Um, when we discovered the, um, the shopping cart trolley. Cleaning their mother's home, this is how Wesley and Gretchen found Minda's shopping trolley. Mangled, ripped, and everything inside all but destroyed. The state of this shopping trolley, it was bent in that it almost snapped in half. Uh, the gifts were smashed, um, the, the food and things inside there was all, all, all squashed. squashed. This is how they found the clothing Minda was wearing. We found the shoes with the tire marks on it, the pants, everything that matched to the right side, which the trolley had the damage on the right side her broken arm on the right side. Like, it all pieced together. It was like a jigsaw puzzle. The leg to the sock to the pants, it all matched. Fearing something could... terrible had happened to Minda before she died, they knew they needed to retrace her final movements. We then tracked back her time frame of to when she was alive by her opal card tapping on, tapping off. This is Minda's opal card records. On the 18th of December, at 2.07pm, she catches a bus from Lane Cove to Lang Park in Sydney's CBD. 2.37, Minda catches a train from nearby Wynyard to Fairfield, then a bus from Fairfield Shops to home, where Minda taps off at 4.22pm. We'd worked out that she'd got off at the bus and had made it home what had happened in between then. So they returned to the neighbourhood and relentlessly searched for some leads. We then went and knocked on doors and asked had anyone seen what had happened to this lady. 18-year-old Sefo Mephipaceto provided the family with a vital breakthrough. The teenager says on the day Minda was injured, an unknown man knocked on his door asking for help. He was asking for water and he was asking for help as well and then I came and gave him water. I walked out and then I saw a lady who was lying down on the floor. What did she say to you? Yeah, what did... Oh, she was saying that she was all right, like I'm okay and all that. And then she got back up, she started walking again. So the trolley was still on the hand as well and everything. The coroner is still yet to determine Minda's official cause of death. Her family believes she was hit by a car while trying to cross the road. The bus stop only 50 metres from her front door. So Minda has gotten up and walked here. home unaware of her life-threatening injuries. I believe that she's just had a, a massive uh, concussion, has not known her, where she is, has thought, there's my home, I'll, I'll go home, I'll be okay. Maybe she was scared, maybe she was in shock. We won't know because she's not here to, to get these answers. Maybe she didn't want to worry anyone. Had we known, we would have taken her to the hospital. Minda's family took all of their evidence to police, who launched an investigation. They did get in contact with the, a, a driver who was behind the vehicle, but they didn't recall the licence plate. They've pretty much told us, like, their investigation has become hard. 
In a statement to a current affair, New South Wales Police said the case has been complicated by the fact all parties left the scene of the crash before the arrival of emergency services. All lines of inquiry have been exhausted and the matter has been referred to the coroner. If Minda Limbo's family weren't so desperate to know what happened to her, you have to wonder whether the truth surrounding her death will ever surface. They say the few answers they do have, they've chased down themselves. And now, almost a year on, they're pleading with both the police and the public to help them. Imagine this was the other way around, the driver that had hit our mother, imagine it was their mother on the road, and we were the ones who were driving and we didn't come forward, and how, how would they feel? It's just a, a simple suburban street corner with so much mystery, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, so many unanswered questions. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of cars come past, and someone must have seen something. If someone has, has come along and, and, and has hit your mother and, and is ultimately responsible for her passing, what, what do you say to the potential driver out there? You yeah, just come forward if you have that person has a conscience, so we just need an answer from my mom what really happened on that day. Just be honest, maybe you weren't aware that her injuries were life-threatening. Come forward, I don't want them charged, you know, like, we just want, we just want answers. We what want to know what, it, what really happened. As they prepare to celebrate yeah. another Christmas as a broken family, all they can do is hope someone will make their one wish come true. We just want answers. It just makes her, her life feel worthless, pointless. If, if more could be done, it should be. If you have any information that could help police track down the driver of the car that hit Minda, please call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. That's 1800 333 000.